What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rianne Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Wednesday. We are coming to you live from the Abercrombie and Fitch office, the headquarters in Columbus, Ohio. Woo-woo. Very, very cool. We got the whole campus tour. We saw how all the magic is made. And speaking of magic, we got magic to talk about with you and Abercrombie. Their wedding shop is now open. We have gotten a great pre- preview of all the beautiful dresses, jumpsuits, mini dresses, everything that you can find in the wedding shop. We have seen. Yep. We just did some try-ons. We got to try on dresses. I love a little yellow number. You tried on a cute little white number. Um, it's all fantastic. We are absolutely loving everything Abercrombie has to do with the wedding shop. And Abercrombie in general. Right now, we're in full Abercrombie outfits. We got our blazers on. We got our shirts, our jeans. We got some great jeans that we get to take home today, uh, thanks to Abercrombie. So make sure you guys sneak previews. Yes, sneak previews. Very exciting. So make sure you guys are shopping Abercrombie and their big dress fest starts April twelfth. So look forward to that. There will be more details on that. So thank you, Abercrombie. We're having a dynamite day. We a a dino day. Yeah, we are. Um, and truly, like if you are a bride or you're going to weddings. Check out these Abercrombie mm-hmm. dresses. They are incredible. They have a dress for every occasion. Casual beachy wedding, like more uh, a black tie wedding. They have it all. It's so nice. Even if you're just planning like trips, bridal shower, uh, um, what else do you have? Bachelorette. Uh, yep. Maybe your honeymoon. You have your, I was looking at some dresses. I was like, oh my God, that's such a cute honeymoon dress. Yep. That's such a cute honeymoon dress. So, so cute. April 12th, get ready for Dress Fest. Yes, it's going to be super exciting. And we're here in Abercrombie. And yes, we are here at Abercrombie. Like I said, we got the full tour. We've had a full day. We're seeing where the, yeah. where it's all made. Yeah, we even saw the thread, the, the thread room. Yes. So and we we're, literally are seeing where it's all made. <laughs> I joked we met like some of the uh, design team mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm like starstruck. Right. Like, you guys are, you guys are superstars. Like you, you, you come up with all this like from your brain. Right. Like, like that's so, I just, design is just something that I'm so impressed by, especially fashion design. Like mm-hmm. I love wearing it, but I would never like come up like and never sit down and 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 just come up with these beautiful designs it's incredible yeah it's so cool such a cool job i mean so yeah. incredible but this day has been so fun we've been here all morning um we you know we like we got to try on a lot of fun stuff we had a little try on jean haul yep. we got some nice jeans we got some nice dresses and now we are recording in the office of Abercrombie and we have our nice little backdrop chicks in the Abercrombie office cuz that is us yeah so thanks Abercrombie because we're having a day and such a great environment like it is total girly central here for Mm -hmm. sure which I love like everybody and we came in and everybody's like kind of dressed in their cute clothes but like there's a lot of denim today like everybody's kind of in like a lot of denim so we're it just feels like a little girly powwow like we're trying on we're trying on different jeans we're walking out everyone's like ooh, we love those ooh, we love those it was just been very fun so much fun hanging with the the gals so cute I went to the cafeteria Great and cafeteria. got a crunch wrap. Like, that was a treat. Yeah. Great cookies. Um, the cafeteria was... It's like the was, full-blown college campus here. Yeah, the cafeteria was really intimidating, I'll be honest. Yeah, that, um, I didn't even go with you. I felt like walking to the cafeteria was like my first day at school and everyone had their groups and yep. I kind of wasn't fitting in. Yep. Um, but I got my crunch wrap and got out of there. Right, especially like, because when you... Nothing's worse than when you go into a cafeteria for the first time. And you also forget like where to sit. You don't know like how each station works. Mm -hmm. Like you're like, oh shoot, like what side do I, is there a line? Who do I talk to? Uh, Can you pre-make it? Like is it Mm pre-made or can I like customize it? Yeah. And you don't want to, you don't want to get embarrassed. Right. I want to step on any toes. I'm a newbie. Yeah. Um, That's how I felt in there. It was like, you know, really intimidating and everyone looked cool as fuck. And I was like, yeah, they're probably like, who is, we've never seen her before. Right. Um, There's just a lot of really cool people walking around and you also get to see, like they do so many of their shoots and everything here on campus. So seeing the setups 
of like staging the outfits and mm-hmm. the the rooms of all the clothes, like the sample, the full sample warehouse, literally, like really, really cool, like really cool, where all right. the all the magic happens. I know I've said really cool a million times, but it's just been, re- but it's just been really cool. It has been. It's been a really cool day, and we're so thankful to yeah. Abercrombie um, for being a part of our tour I and know. for having us here today. And we like we've seen previews of Suffer Fall that has just made me be like, oh my god, please, I hope they keep working with right. us. And also, I'm like, I hope we don't get teased where we see all the fall stuff no i'm right. kidding like we it's it's been it's been great and i'm also like teasing the the listeners right now like hey guys like they we saw stuff that you haven't seen yeah, yet yeah, and it's all yeah. really cute yep, so exactly. look forward to that but yeah it's been a great little trip we are headed back to new york tonight so it was just a quick trip in ohio um we survived flying through the eclipse yes we, we did. made it here we're all okay we are all okay um I was on a different flight than yeah. you and Noah because I was flying from Newark. You guys were flying from LaGuardia. Um, and sometimes that happens. Sometimes I feel like making the trip to LaGuardia and sometimes I don't. And you guys got to experience the full solar eclipse. And did. I landed literally two minutes before it happened. And as I was walking through the airport, it was pitch black. And then by the time I got outside, it was light out yeah. again. Yeah. So I didn't get to like look at it. Yeah, and um, shout out Joe's mom because she made sure that I did leave with eclipse glasses yep. because I ha 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 on Monday and tried to make a joke, but those glasses were essential. And without them, I would have seen nothing. Um, needed the glasses. Now, do and we think the glasses are like you? You? No, I know that you need the glasses to see them, but is that is maybe it's just tricking everybody and it doesn't really exist and it's actually just in the glasses. Right. You I know, get what like, you're are, are they just like printed glasses no, or like when you, you look, put them on no, right they're now not. And it wouldn't work. No, <laughs> yeah. because, because also, um, when they're on, which I think a lot of people realize when they put them on yesterday is when you're just standing normal looking not at the sun, you can't see through the glasses. Mm-hmm. You just can't see anything. Like you literally cannot see straight through them. It's only when you're looking up that you can see it. And that way you could see like the perfect little toenail of the mm-hmm. of the sun. Um, so it was funny. Yeah, no and I got into our Uber and people were literally all standing outside the airport and we got in and we we probably had twenty ish minutes until like the peak time. So in the car, we were like, had our heads out the window and we were looking up at it and our Uber driver was like, oh my God, can you see it? We were like, yeah, we can see it. <laughs> we can see and it. And you're like, pay attention to the road. I know. And when, then we pulled up to the hotel and there were all these, it honestly, for a second, felt like there was a welcoming committee at the hotel. <laughs> like it almost felt like they were all outside to be like, yeah. welcome. Right. Um, but they were all there, like, obviously waiting. Like they waiting. do in like Hawaii. Yes. <laughs> they were all there waiting for the eclipse. The hotel actually had glasses, which was mm-hmm. nice because I only had one pair. So Noah was able to get his own so we could really experience. And yeah, it got it got dark. The street lamps all turned on and we were like, ooh. It was like a breeze all of a sudden got, when yes, the sun a, went away. A wit, a shiver yeah. went through because it was like, fine. yes. Um, but then it was hot after. And then it, and then, you know, started moving the other way and. You know, we went back to business. I took a nap after that. I think my whole like, I think I got confused. Yeah. Like my body, like the, yeah. the sunset. You got tired. I took a nap. Then I woke up and I'm like, I feel like I've been here for more than one day. Yeah. Wow. Like the energy from one. the eclipse. The energy. But it was really cool. I mean, honestly, the videos were really cool to see that were those that were in um, the path of totality. Yeah. And... <laughs> Also seeing the news reports, like I went into the, rarely do I just have, you know, ABC, NBC, like, you know, just mm-hmm. a, a uh, network on. And because we, I walked in the hotel, like the TV was just on and I was looking at the guide and I didn't even realize that it was just like blocked out eclipse content on every channel from like two to 4 PM. Like it was broadcast on everything Every weatherman, they had the weathermen in the different parts mm-hmm. of the country. Some the videos, were crying. Oh, there, there was me- there was people crying. That's, that's there too was far. Al, the video of Al Roker oh is so cute. Like, why he's would like, you be crying at the eclipse? No, he because he he just thought it was incredible. And the man loves science. I, I yeah, it was sweet. Um, did, didn't but you cry? Did you want? Justin you got to watch the one engaged. of Al Roker. He was like, oh my god, like it was awesome. Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber getting engaged and me being happy for love and crying for the happiness but, but of love is different. My than point is, like, scientists eclipse. might say the same thing. Like, why are why are people crying about that? And you're like, why are people crying? People hey, love it's different their, things. It's it's, it's their, their passion. It's yeah. their passion. Right. It's their yeah. whole lives. 
they, you know, they love it. And maybe they experience an eclipse in some way because, you know, we experienced it in Columbus, but it got, you know, it didn't get totally dark where these meteorologists were. When they were, it was going pitch black, which I think would have been pretty freak, freaky. Like, yeah. the, like the full cover. But isn't it crazy that the next one isn't for like 20 years? So it's like the next time it happens, maybe you will get emotional because you'll be like, wow, you know, I was yeah. in Columbus. Yep. When the it last one happened, it does seem like we're all caring about eclipses more. I, so maybe it'll just get, it'll just gain. Like the eclipse was really a, an event. If I'm being honest, I personally like really don't care that much. Like for 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 me, I was more afraid you didn't really ex- of you didn't experience it though. So maybe what like I felt that maybe true. why like, I, like, I, that I missed out. You so missed maybe out. That's why so I don't you're care. you're Jealous. deflecting. No, <laughs> I, I um because I thought I was gonna feel the same way until I put the glasses on and looked up and went, okay, this is actually right. pretty sick. Right, and I didn't get to experience that. So yep. maybe that's why I'm on the side of it. Like, who really? Why do we care so much yep. about this? Um, and everyone felt that way. There was like, just like there I was an s- earthquake. Phone People had eclipse FOMO because some of my friends, too, in New York, like, they saw everybody out in the streets, out on the rooftops with their glasses on, and they thought, oh, I'm not going to get the glasses. I don't care. I don't care. And then at 2, you know, 301, they were like, ah, fuck, I really wish I had the glasses. Now I feel like everyone's I did see that there was a too cool for the eclipse club at Barstool, like Jack Uh, Mack posted, and Marty was was part of the too cool. So maybe you guys just aren't eclipse people. I don't think he's too cool for the eclipse. I think he truly doesn't care. No, no, that's what it is. Jack (laughs) made up the name. They were like, like, we're just not 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 big, uh, you know, science people. people. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Crazy natural events. We didn't even discuss the eclipse <laughs> you didn't even text your fiance we were texting but we weren't we didn't talk didn't about the eclipse. Did the eclipse didn't come up once no that is <laughs> that's honestly astonishing to me i talked about nothing else but the eclipse in every single text message i had yesterday from like 3 p.m i'm on. trying to think back i i talked to joe also, i talked like, to all my friends Colum- i talked my to my both family group chats dad and mom's side all sending pictures no even after on the on Did the your phone family watch it and I haven't talked to them about it. So it's basically Wait. like the eclipse never even happened no, yeah, no, in, your, in your side of the world. None of my friends, like our group chat, like nobody was talking about the eclipse. Like Damn. it's almost like it's almost like the eclipse never happened where I'm from. <laughs> Did no, it even happen? I'm thinking about like on, even on the phone last night, like we didn't like we didn't talk about the eclipse. Wow. And I do remember one text. I think Marty wrote like, wow, it's wild how many people are on the street right now. Now that I'm thinking back. Yeah. But I don't even think I like. You didn't even realize that was because of the eclipse. No, like no, I knew it was because, but I, I Marty's didn't like, even. Why, is there, why are so many people? At no, I had to get a new phone yesterday, so true, I was like, more true, focused true. on that, and so I didn't even like register. Like we did not discuss the eclipse. Yeah. Was anyone yeah. At, like you went to the Apple Store? No one, no one there was. Nobody about talked it? about the eclipse. Yeah, actually, I was just all those nerds at the Genius Bar. We, no, <laughs> you know what's crazy? So I had my phone broke yesterday, and I had to go straight from the airport to the Apple Store. Um, to get a new phone before our Abercrombie yeah. welcome drinks. And that was legitimately five ben- minutes after the eclipse. Not one person at the Apple store brought up the eclipse. And I sat there for an hour. And this one guy showed me every picture on his phone that he takes with the macro lens. It was a whole thing. Nothing of the eclipse. Wow. I'm actually shocked by that. I will say, though, it was kind of funny. It did feel like when the eclipse ended, it was like, all right, that's it. Like yeah. when it was yeah, o- maybe, like maybe when it was over, maybe. it was like it was like that's it. That was the eclipse. That was fun. Like in the moment, you were like, "Holy shit!" And maybe you were texting, but as I would say, there was a fifteen minute grace period to continue to talk about the eclipse, and then it was like, "All right, well, it's over." Right. Well, maybe that's why I missed out because right. I had landed. Then we were in the airport. Yeah. During while it was happening, then I got in the Uber. It was over, and then I was at the Apple Store getting right. a new phone. Because it's one of those things. Maybe where people I all went outside to watch it, but then like once it happens. I think you just go back inside. Like, cool maybe, thing. guys, maybe when my phone was in the process of being transferred to a new phone for an hour, maybe I missed out yeah, on maybe those were, text. Maybe those were when maybe the that's were when the text in. was right after. Maybe those when when the texts were coming in. I think like the sense of community was maybe the coolest part. Like you just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I shut no, up. No, I no, know what you mean. I'm, I'm with you on yeah. that. Because it's just like that. It, 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 it just brought people together. Brought people looks. together. You just driving and like seeing everyone outside looking at, like I'm sure New York was even crazier because there's yeah. more people. That's what I said. Like Joe was up on the roof and he was like, honestly, it's really cool just. <laughs> 
it almost to be experience, yeah. it, experiencing the same thing all together it's at like the, the same time. Like opposite. he's like yeah, looking cool. at all the rooftops and seeing all the right. people that were out, being like, "Wow, like we're all everyone." Like this is a same. memory for all these yeah. people. It's like <laughs> the, the same time. Of COVID. Yeah. Everyone went outside. Let's all start crying about the moment. <laughs> That should be a teaser and bar. Like, I don't. You know, I, I don't want to come across. We all yeah, I don't want to come across as an eclipse hater because I'm not. I I do. You're an uh, eclipse denier. No, I do enjoy the sense of community, and yeah. I'm happy that everybody else got it's, to experience. But I sadly, you just didn't feel I'm it. Did not, jealous. Yeah, she I just didn't, didn't feel get it. to experience no, uh, she it. Just, she just doesn't get it. Yeah. I didn't get to experience it. <laughs> yes. I wasn't able. I was in the airport. Yep. 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 But so no, I missed out. Didn't it happen right myself. when you landed? You said like pretty much. We were getting off the plane and it was happening. Yeah. So we were. So you would have had to like sprint outside. Like yeah, no, there yeah. was no way we were getting like. Yeah, we, no. I was walking through the airport. It was dark, and then I got outside and it was light. Right. <laughs> and no part yep. of you was like, oh, that's cool. It's dark out. I did think that in my head, but I wasn't <laughs> fully, you know. Do I need to sit here and cry about the eclipse? Yeah, Is that what you guys want from Honestly, me? Honestly, that might have to be right. We're <laughs> n- we're clearly not letting up. No, no I'm like I. <laughs> no, that's know? really that's all I have to say about the eclipse. I, it was, um, you know, it was a big moment. I'll remember it. But yeah, so like I said, it's over. Right now, you can channel the days of chilling on the beach and all day fun with Spring Break on DraftKings Casino. You could play exclusive games like Fan Fave, Rocket. Actually, Marty and Dana love to play the Rocket game in our apartment. They stream that. It's so much fun to listen to them and their videos online, so make sure you check that out. And the excitement is endless. The vibes are right, and the cash prizes could be huge. New players start playing with just five bucks and get one hundred back instantly in casino credits download the app and use code chicks to book your one-way ticket to fun with DraftKings casino the crown is yours so once again new players start playing with just five bucks and get 100 back instantly in casino credits download the app and use code chicks to book your one-way ticket to fun with DraftKings casino a big uh, moment that I will remember forever is Trent's Instagram post from today. Yes. So Trent posted. <laughs> this a is photo. my solar eclipse. Trent posted a photo, and you know we'll try to be as uh, <laughs> we'll try to be as PG as possible, as graphic as possible. Um, Trent posted a photo in a in a in a light blue linen a, a powder shirt, blue, um, short sleeve button down, which you know rarely do you see mm-hmm. Trent in anything than what he normally wears and aviators so he's in an outfit that i said it's not it's not crazy but because he wears the same thing every single day one little change has everyone like whoo <laughs> whoa right and he had the aviators i think i almost saw chest hair popping out yeah there there is a <laughs> you really zooming in there that was, I, that was a joke <laughs> he's got a chain on <laughs> oh my god that's totally a chain. Bad boy. That's crazy. That just sent a shiver down Rhea's spine, I can tell. Yeah. No backwards hat. A chain. <laughs> oh my God, Trent's wearing a chain? <laughs> it's a it's a great look for him. And the girls are... They're going nuts. They're going nuts. They're going nutso. Yep. Bras yep. being thrown through the phone. Yep. Should we FaceTime Trent right now? And yeah. he, let's see if he answers. I'll FaceTime him. What are the odds you think he answers? Zero. I'm, I'm actually going to clock it in at a, at a zero. Absolutely zero. He's uh, it's, it's Masters Week. Yeah, right, imagine he's like next to Tiger Woods. Is it Woods. Masters Week? <laughs> it is. It um, is. Yeah. yeah. He's not gonna answer. Yeah, there's no way. It's he it's, answered when you yeah. called him when you were bleaching my hair. Remember? No, but he's it. just there. Must be. He's totally doing something right. Yeah, now. he's with someone. He's like, oh my god, why is Rhea he's like, ah, oh, Rhea's calling. <laughs> imagine they're like fucking interviewing like Tiger Woods right now, and he's like, sorry, his phone's going off. Answer this real quick. No. It's a long ring. Got some big interviews. He's FaceTime even, rings actually do he's last. He's not even like, clicking. FaceTime rings last too think, long. I think. Do you think he's, he's not even clicking think. deny? He's like, he's like yeah. Let he's letting it ring all the way through. Damn. All right. Well, maybe he'll call back. Probably not though. Yeah. Um, all right. So shout out to Trent. His new but Instagram. It's like, yeah. It's like you feel that earthquake. Trent's, Trent posted that picture. <laughs> Imagine, aftershock imagine, that's what he should have put yeah. the, made, made the After, caption aftershock right. imagine he gained like how how long does oh, it? he texted oh what's up literally just landed in chicago oh he's in chicago okay what's the um limitation on like earthquake jokes now you know 
Like, is it over and already? Kind of, oh. probably, right? To be like, F, to make like an aftershock joke. Yeah. Because, like, like, to drop who like live a. In New York, right. Like, like you li- if you live in New York and you have like a really good picture to post, like, aftershock is a funny caption, but. It is. It's like, but is it is it too <laughs> We're are, are we past it? So, I posted a TikTok where I said, like, oops, sorry, I was shaking my ass too hard. And literally, <laughs> not exaggerating. Two minutes after is when the aftershock hit. Like I closed out my phone, opened up my door, went back inside, sat on the yep. couch, and the aftershock hit. <laughs> I commented on my own post, like aftershock, and I think people thought I was making like a joke, but it actually was the <laughs> aftershock hitting. <laughs> so you know, that was all you. Yeah, that I'll, was all. You. I asked Trent what inspired the powder blue change. He's typing. Oh, the suspense. The suspense is killing me. It's gonna be like one word answer. Like, don't know. Just felt it. Did he go to the... He didn't go to the women's championship. He he went to the... He went to the final four. He went to the Dave, game um, against in Albany. UConn. What? No, he went to the game against um, LSU. Are you talking about basketball? Yeah. W- women's basketball. Oh, yes, yes. But that was last yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, it was this past weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Not... Not... In it. He was not. He went to the game against LSU. Yeah. Yes. It was yes. Albany. Um, he said, ha, ha, ha. It was for a commercial we were shooting, but I plan on buying lots of linen clothing going forward. Right. Wow. Breaking like news. Linen. Buying lots of linen. Hey, linen Wrinkles. is a, be- it's a, it's yes, but it is a nice lightweight fabric for when it starts to get warm. Yeah. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, Bless you. I felt that sneeze coming from a mile away. Well, I'm, I'm glad Trent gave us some answers there. Uh, shall we get into the topics for the show? We shall. All right, let's get into it. We are going to talk about Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. She talked about a little bit. I just love when they talk about their relationship. And Rihanna weighs in on Kyle Richardson and yeah. Morgan Wade, which I want to discuss. Morgan Wallen was arrested for throwing a chair off a roof in Nashville. Not surprised. Calvin Harris's wife said she listens to Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris is not home. People think Lady Gaga is engaged. And there's an interesting situation going on with Kamora Lee Simmons and Russell Simmons' daughter, Aoki Lee Simmons. Yeah. Um, and uh, Victoria Asoff. I don't know how to pronounce his last yeah. name. Um, very interesting situation. Old, young, that whole, yeah. that whole thing. So let's get into the topics. That's right. With Game Time, you can get tickets to an event that you want to go to right now, whether that's a concert, a game, a sporting event, anything that you want, you can get right now with Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. You shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets to all of the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. They have flash deals for sudden discounts, zone deals for when you're feeling flexible, and their lowest price guarantee means that if you can find the same seats for less anywhere else, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game Time is the best place for last minute seats with up to 60% off your favorite events. We've all been to multiple events thanks to Game Time, multiple concerts that thanks to Game Time, sporting events all because of Game Time. Actually, Marty went to uh, Yankees opening day thanks to Game Time last Friday um, and he missed the earthquake because he was uh, on the way there. Uh, but thanks to Game Time, all all events thanks to Game Time. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account and use code CHICKS for $20 off your first purchase terms do apply once again download the game time app today last minute tickets lowest prices guaranteed once again use code chicks for twenty dollars off your first purchase terms do apply i just love when we get rihanna and asap rocky talking about each other because every every once in a while i go i hope they're still together right i hope everything's good they they do have two kids i hope everything's going great and you know what? It always seems like it is when they yep. talk about each other. But Rihanna mentioned how, you know, when she gets on a plane, she just wants to be wearing sweatpants. But ASAP Rocky wants to be in a full fit, um, which totally can relate to Rihanna on that. And I think people love hearing that from Rihanna because we all expect Rihanna to be in a full fit. But the re- the relatable queen that Rihanna is... She's like, no, I want to be in sweatpants. Yep. Um, and she says that she feels like a Muppet next to next to ASAP Rocky. But ASAP Rocky, he... She said she feels like his assistant. She, his, she made a joke. She said, isn't he the best 
that she said she's feeling bummy as shit next to this man. I feel like, God damn, I look like his assistant. Yeah, she didn't actually say she feels like a Muppet. I don't yeah. know why I said that. Um, <laughs> I just- A Muppet? I put assistant and bummy together and and my brain went Muppet. <laughs> I was going to say, okay. I don't know. Even just, they don't even combine to that. No, they don't. They don't at all. Um, But yeah, when she said- uh. I'm getting on a plane. We should be in sweats. He wants to be in a full Bottega suit. I'm like, why? Why? He says, she's like, why do you gotta? Why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> yeah. Why? So. I mean, I'm with her. Like, why can't you also be in a sweatsuit? It's the opposite yeah. of the Bieber's. Now she says she just loves to really dress her kids, mm-hmm. and like she's like my my style. You know, I sometimes don't think about it as much. And but like dressing her kids, she really loves, which right. is so fair. And I'm sure her not thinking about her style is still her looking cool as fuck at all times. She, right. I, no matter what she wears, she looks cool. She can too, wear truly. a napkin and look super cool. Yeah. Like anything she wears, she's gonna look so cool. Yeah. But she was asked how she feels about Kyle Richards and Morgan Wade, and if she thinks that they're a couple, and she thinks so. Yeah, she said, "I mean, duh." Yeah. So that's a uh, end quote. Quote end quote. I mean, duh. Um. I just love that she's like, I don't really have any other time to like consume any pop culture content besides Bravo. Like she's like, uh, Housewives. Mm-hmm. She's like, you can ask me about that. I'm watching, but anything else, meh. Like right. it's like Housewives. She also said that um, Monica should should be able to come back to Salt Lake City. She was like, if Sandoval can come back, like why can't Monica come back? And you know what? Fair. The fact that, <laughs> listen, Rihanna. Just come on the show and do a Bravo recap with us. I know. Like, won't ask you a single personal life question. Just do Bravo recaps with Rihanna would be, oh my God. It's that's, a- that when, you know what? That's my new answer when people say, what's your dream guest? Right. Because um, somebody just asked that today. It's now Bravo recap with Rihanna. Right. If she just also, she has 9 million things going on, so it's not like she needs to do it, but like her own Bravo like if Rihanna hosted Watch What Happens Live, that would be, oh, be like so- like a Rihanna like that type of show where you know there's been rumors Andy maybe down the line Andy I don't you know if Andy wants to do it forever and maybe it, like when Rihanna is like n- really done with mm-hmm. everything she has going on or maybe she or hosts- she just wants to move into a new chapter she's just like God all I want to do is talk about Bravo on t- on TV like or- maybe that like it would just be so good or maybe so just host good. a reunion. Yeah, like she gets one shot at hosting or right. coming in for ten like how questions. Nicki Minaj did. Yeah, I um, I think it's funny and also b- brave of Rihanna to just be like, yeah, duh, because the the situation with Kyle Richards and Morgan Wade, like people tiptoe around it, like, are they dating? Are they yeah. not dating? Like, we don't want to be disrespectful, of Kyle Richards, and and Rihanna's just like, yeah, duh, I think they're dating. I also love when celebrities talk about Bravo shows because they just don't give a shit. Like they'll they'll just. They're like people talk about my life. Like I'll just say what. Yeah, like she has her opinions about about the show. I Jennifer Lawrence is like that too, where she just lets her just like lets her opinion fly on these ladies with no second guessing, like what she's saying. Yeah, I need all of Rihanna's opinions on all Bravo shows. I want to know if she watches Summer House. Yeah. I feel like she must because she probably John. If if she wasn't before, maybe she heard about the Carl Lindsay stuff and said, "Oh, I got to jump into Summer House." A, A conversation with like Rihanna, Jennifer Lawrence. I feel like, I feel like Emma Stone also watches. I feel, it's there's somebody else that I feel like is also really into Bravo that I'm forgetting. Would just be so good. It would be so good. You know who I feel like should watch Bravo? Like Miley Cyrus. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like I wonder I if she may- does. Maybe. I feel like everybody dabbles a little. Maybe they caught some think, here or there. If you're a celebrity with a massive life and people care about your life, you probably are like, I want to watch some other people fuck up their life. Right. You know, I just like think reality TV is just a great, it's just a great ex- escape. escape for them to not care about their own lives and watch totally. other people's real lives. Um, totally. So anytime I can hear Rihanna talk about ASAP Rocky or Bravo, I'm in. I want more of that yeah. at all times. She also said, um, of course, when is she not asked about new music? Because everyone's like, isn't there supposed to be mm-hmm. new music? I, she said um, she has like the visuals in her head and like she said normally she works like music and then visuals but this time now she has like these visuals in her head and is trying to like match the music to the visuals so it's it's just like another uh run around like it's just you know another another way to to just be like ah i'm working on it (laughs) yeah Yeah, i'd be like asking christopher nolan like about his next movie and he's like well i have the sounds in my head but 
I don't know about yeah. the visual. I have the yeah. words in my head. Nothing's written down. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. Listen, I I won't hound Rihanna for music. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to be that kind of fan with her. I'll she be honest. It just feels anymore. like so much time has passed now that I'm like, it is what it is. Yeah. In my head, Rihanna if just she, doesn't if make music anymore. she puts it out, great. If she doesn't, that's fine. Right. I'm like, she's not, she doesn't make music anymore. Yeah. Okay. Can Those we just pictures are cool. The pictures are really cool. The mm-hmm. whole uh, the whole creative behind it's really cool. Did you see her caption for this one on no. Instagram? It was funny. She said, literally how I feel in postpartum with two under two. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um <laughs> Do you find that relatable? Yeah, I was like, I just, I really thought, thought that was like I just thought it was cool that it's like it, it it feels like she wrote it instead of some like generic yeah, like oh I have like, my oh, new like line yeah, out right oh thank you yeah. to yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. well of course thank you but like y- sometimes that's all they write and there's no yeah. like added anything else yeah yeah definitely yeah and I j- also like music right now is so female mm-hmm. dominated like we have so many. All the all the girls are putting out. Billy Eilish just announced a, a new album. Yeah, no in singles. May. Like it's just a new a new album coming out in May. Like, what have we got? We got like Ariana Grande, Casey Musgraves, Beyonce, Taylor Swift is coming now. Billy Eilish. I feel like there's somebody else. I think maybe Dua Lipa, right? Dua Lipa or is just, for, Dua Lipa's been working on yeah. an album. Um, Olivia Rodrigo, obviously. Uh, everyone, it's everybody. Just the girls are crushing. But Billie Eilish said that she's not putting out singles. She wants everyone to hear it all at once. I, I, I appreciate. I that. appreciate that. I love that. I loved Billie Eilish's first two albums, so I am really, really excited for this one. Same. Her second album, like, was really up there for me. I listened to that album on repeat yeah. for yeah. months yep for months so i'm really excited what did Same. you think but, about people freaking out about the close friends thing that she did did you see that yeah she put everybody on her close friends i wasn't i, like I didn't all understand her followers, like, yeah were like on the, her, her close friends so like pe- like you or me went on yeah like i clicked and there was like, a green circle and i was like and oh she I'm, just wanted us, wanted us to wanted to include every, like yeah. just uh <laughs> it makes yeah it makes make you, it just to be like you're all my close friends right i was like oh my god i'm on billy i was just close friends what the fuck <laughs> accident what if it wasn't like ever it was just like you by yeah accident. like just accidentally you get put on somebody's close friends um that's the dream yeah but unfortunately it if was you could it be was on everybody. one celebrity's close friends who would it be it's got to be somebody who I think. Put, I, I honestly, Haley Bieber. I was thinking this because same. I bet Haley Bieber fucking shades the shit out of I people. Was, <laughs> but like, I was stained. feeling the same thing. I was thinking the same. I think like the collection of Haley Bieber, Kendall Jenner, like all of them, like as if as if yeah, it was I'm, like their granted, own. I don't group think there's chat. A, none of them post on their. Like I bet you none They're of them have Finstas. close friends. Yeah. I think. I mean, having a fence does way. I mean, we don't have close friends. Um, yeah, people, no. you know, like I like I. I don't post on close friends. You do? No, I'm just kidding. I just want to see your reaction. Oh my god, did you see my face? I, yeah. I, I, I almost broke my neck. I was like, "What the fuck?" Imagine yeah. you found out. Like, yeah, I have a close friend. I've thought about it, but then it just feels like such a big um, undertaking to like go through every single person I follow to decide if they get to be my close friends mm-hmm. or not. I feel like it's mainly for like taking your family off. Sometimes I'm on other people's close friends, and I'm like, "Why did this?" person add Same. me to their close friends like thank you i'm honored but how did i end up here <laughs> i love when that happens i yeah. see, see for that i feel like it's probably they didn't they, there's people that they don't want and they just take those off. right yeah. well you can just mute those mute people, certain people from seeing your yeah. story yeah. and there are some people where i'm like damn like i hear about their close friends i'm like not me i'm not on there yeah you know who yeah I'm that's always about. and <laughs> Yeah. yeah there's yep i don't actually <laughs> well sometimes no you don't but sometimes Rihanna, okay like there's there's specifically someone that Rhea is on and i'm not mm. and and i'll be like shit and i'll like have to yep you know i guess that defeats the purpose of close friends and now yeah. i'm but we're close friends so you, you know if i'm sitting next you to you because that's the culture i'm sorry like if you have a like if you have if you have a best friend and and you're on somebody's close friends and they're on it like sorry to the person posting but your close friends is going to be seen by other people chances are and especially we're together yeah all the time yep and if i open up a close friend yeah and i'm snooping which i uh, which i do it's like here and now, i'm like what the fuck was that right <laughs> and now you're also a part of it <laughs> yep. yeah yeah so i'm like yeah i better see that <laughs> you better show me <laughs> oh shit that's i heard funny. that's like a tactic i forget who was telling me um that if you like someone, 
you make close friends. You post something that only you want one person to see. I oh, told yeah, you that. Oh, you told me. This? I told you. Me and and me. Remember, me and Kelly Keys were telling you and Tommy um, because oh, there was yeah. like some girl, and we were like they're doing that on purpose yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Like there was yeah. some, there was some situation like, where yeah. we talked about it. Someone's close friends though. The algorithm, like Instagram fucks it up for me. Like if somebody posts on there, if somebody who I, I is like a early, um, I don't even know how to, how to describe it. Like somebody, when they post shows up quickly, like right at the top of my stories, mm-hmm. if they post publicly, they're always like the first circle. You know, yeah. But if they post on their close friends, I don't, I don't see it. It doesn't right. come up. I, it has to wait until it comes back around that they post publicly, and then when I click on it, it's like, oh my god, they posted a close friends nineteen hours ago, and I, I'm on it, and I wouldn't have seen it if they didn't post mm-hmm. publicly later. I'm like, why does Instagram do right, that? And to you're me? like, you're like close friends. That should, should be at the top of the list, right? We're close friends. But I'm sort of <laughs> saying, like, if I'm on somebody's close friends list, they sh- it should pop up right at the t- front. Yeah. Totally. I agree with that. Do you guys get in your head about clicking into a story? Like if someone just posted it, you don't nah. want to be the first name. Yes, I got no I shame. Literally, <laughs> I had to I had to mute somebody the other day because I was so embarrassed that I watched their story so fast. <laughs> because it was just somebody that doesn't Can you tell me after. Yeah. It's just somebody that doesn't post that often. So when they do, for some reason, they just pop pop up up as my first circle every single time. And they just don't post that often. And there was a post like a couple weeks ago that I watched. It was like 19 seconds. (laughs) And I was like, when this person scrolls up and sees that I I am probably the only person that has watched their story right now, I'm I'm gonna be mortified. I was like, I have I'm I just have to mute them. Like I can no longer I can't have this happen. I I get what you're saying, but when I see people are like one of the first I don't judge them at all. I'm like, oh they're just on their phone. Like I am It was like a it was like a like a sibling's ex that I was like, I can't. Oh, okay. I can't. Right, Dumb. and I can't do this. And then, then, in and I'm their, granted, like I feel bad because I'm like I probably don't even need to be following them you, still in the first place. You don't, and like also in their head, they're probably like, oh well, this is you know that's it, what I'm saying. Like, so I'm probably. afraid that I'm afraid that it looks bad on on the sibling that mm-hmm. they, that I'm snooping. Right, like they think that you're snooping. Yeah, I've got them, fucking right. notifications meanwhile, on for for their posts. Meanwhile, it's just popping I was like, up. just it just popped up. It's just and I was like, naturally Ugh. popping up. Yeah. yeah, no, but I yeah I get what you're saying with that. But like day to day, when I see someone's name, I'm. I'm like, I never think, oh, they watch that too fast. Yeah. I'm like, more people, where are yeah, you? Yeah. You know, watch, watch the story. How do we start talking about this? I don't know. Let's move on to the next topic. Morgan <laughs> Wallen uh, was arrested for throwing a chair off the roof in Nashville at a bar. You Typical. Know, I'm not surprised. Typical. I'm not surprised at all. I am not. Um, Neither of us. Yeah. Look, and, and not that we're like afraid to talk about it or like say it that often but morgan wallen is very beloved like his fans are Mm -hmm. are strong and they do love him and i just personally you can love him you can love his music whatever like i have friends that i am incessant like they love his music and i'm just like he sucks (laughs) and like and 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 they just know i'm gonna Mm -hmm. say it every single time they bring him up like in our group chat whatever they're really like we all know what fran's gonna say yeah and i'm like look I'm just going to say that I'm in 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 the future I'm going to be glad I'm being on the right side of history of this guy being a douche. Yeah. Sorry, that's how I feel. I feel like that's right. not a crazy take at this point. <laughs> like, no, it's no, not, no, but it's people not people are take, like but people, people so gung ho so about defending they, him. It's right. crazy. They will like go through the depths to be like, "No, he's the he's such yeah. a great guy." I'm like, "He has done quite a few things yeah. to He's done I'm no more bad than good about yeah, him." Yeah, and I I honestly think um and I've just heard some story, like stories, and I'm just like, this guy's a jerk. Yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, sometimes he lets the liquor talk too much. That seems like that's, that's what happened when he threw a chair yeah, off a he fucking let the roof. Liquor scream. He could have like <laughs> actually killed. <laughs> He could have actually killed somebody. I know I sound, like I probably sound like a mom. Being no, like, but he could have. He kind of killed somebody. He really could. He have. totally and could have course, really hurt like, somebody. Unlucky Six that floors. this did happen. The chair landed like next to cops, <laughs> so it was like. Imagine you're a cop and so you're like, what the fuck? fuck? And then yeah. you're like, Also, Morgan, imagine, no, like, he imagine hit a cop. You hit, 
No, oh, yeah. Imagine you hit a cop or you hit any yeah. person. You, that could kill you. That oh, could act yeah. like the velocity. No, that's six fucking stories, crazy. Like, that could literally kill you. It's insane. Like, that's a problem. Yeah. Like, I don't care what anybody says. And like, I don't that's care how insane. drunk he is or whatever. It's like, if oh, you he get was to the drunk. Point, no, I don't. Drunk's not an excuse. I've been no. really drunk. If, I've never thrown a chair. If you get to the point when you're drunk that you're throwing chairs off off roofs, maybe you should rethink yeah. your whole relationship with that. Let thing. the water talk. <laughs> yeah. All right. The first one was yeah, good. Yeah, now you're yeah, reaching. That one was a reach a little that bit. That one. Yep, that let one the liquor scream funny. Let the water talk. I was like, yeah. all right, chill out, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I don't know, but it's crazy because it really does feel like no matter what he does, like, I just makes my blood boil oh his it fans make, his it, make, fans it will, just makes my blood oh boil my God, because the I ego yeah exactly because the ego that he has Ugh. is so huge because he thinks he's untouchable which is so infuriating like it's just so infuriating to me sorry like I'm, people might like hate that we're even on this side but i just i don't care i yeah, i i have, have to always let my been on the side of and like we can disagree don't be mad but i just you know <laughs> now here's the thing if i like loved morgan morgan wald's music what yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe i'd be sitting well, here going like oh but his music's really good like i personally don't yeah, even I mean, like you know but then, well people love like country music, music yeah. and acknowledge, and acknowledge that, someone's an asshole. and oh, yeah. yeah no of course of course um i was kidding there but i it's yeah, just he, really hard for me to like i still listen to michael jackson i just think it's hard <laughs> Yeah. It's oh, very Jesus. brave of you. I just feel like it's different. I mean, to Kanye, like, Chris ugh. Brown. Like, there's a lot of you, you got to separate the art. Yeah, like, there like. are fantastic songs. You know, I think, it, I think it's different for me because he's like still um, acting crazy, touring oh. too. So, and his shows are so big that I have friends that are like paying money to go see his mm. shows, and that's where I'm like, okay, you're acknowledging he's an asshole, but you know, you're. You're paying money to go see him. So actually something just popped into my head. Um, it's an interesting subject, I think. So I'm thinking back in like the Motley Crue days, right? Like we weren't alive. It was the 80s. And right. they were fucking reckless. Yeah, and yeah. people loved them. And they probably threw chairs. They probably yeah, did yeah. wild shit. But I guess maybe because it wasn't so much documented on social media yeah. or in the or in like media, whereas they wrote about it themselves. Like, you know, like Motley Crue wrote their, their own book and yeah. then they did the movie The Dirt. Like, so it's stories coming from them. So like hearing them talk about, or other rock stars, but they're just the example I'm thinking of, them giving their own stories is very interesting like you know they've been through a lot of shit a lot of you know drug problems you know a lot of near deaths yeah and talking about it from their standpoint you're like whoa and they're rock stars but i think that's but like I, in, and and i think even like it's like probably looking back you know like you're looking yeah. back and I'm, I'm sure you know we weren't alive so we can't speak on it i'm sure if we were to ask our parents what was it like when this was happening they were probably like it was crazy people yeah. were reporting on it but i'm just thinking about it in that aspect we're like they're still rock stars. You're still going to the show, yeah. you know. So like, like, it's just like different. I think in rock and roll culture of like you, you wreck your hotel room. Right. Like you're crazy. Like that. Like everyone. Like I think John Mayer talks about doing that. Like right. He, he did with Shawn Mendes. Yeah, remember? Yeah. Because well, yeah. he's like Shawn Mendes is like the perfect me. Where like I was like wrecking my hotel rooms and Shawn Mendes is just yeah, like this clean cut guy. Right. Because John Mayer was like I used to wreck my hotel rooms because I could. Yeah. Whereas like because he like asked Shawn Mendes if he ever has and Shawn was like no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So it yeah. is interesting, you know, to think about it in that aspect where it's like, it's there okay for a rock star rock typical star. There behavior, are stereotypical for, rock star things that I think I would give him more of a pass on than what he's done. Throwing yeah. a chair off a roof. You know right. what I'm roof. saying? Yeah. Like, throwing a chair off a roof and flying six stories Risking down, people's yeah. lives is different than is different wrecking than your hotel than ri ri Like, risking your own life. Like, a yeah. lot of rock stars are are yeah. risking their own lives, whereas, like, he's putting other people, yeah. like, you know. Um, yeah. So, yeah. He's uh, an interesting one. and it, Yeah, so he got arrested for that. Yeah, um, he did get arrested. Yeah. And that was big news. Right. And people were saying, like, his ex-fiance, like, they were like, oh, my God, his ex-fiance just got married, and, like, he's heartbroken. And But like, then it's also people were, like, then there was a report that, like, that wasn't the reason. If you're heartbroken, go hook he up was, with somebody. You're going to yeah. go throw a chair off the roof. I mean, I'm sure he did anyway. Yeah, that, yeah. You know that's what's sad about it too is like girls will still be like, oh my god, probably like, more so. More, I yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I always forget he has a kid too. Yeah, I'm just not. 
Hey, we're not just, Mor- yeah. we're not Morgan Wallen fans. Be, yeah, right, right, right. Like I don't of even the, want to talk about of, it like, anymore because I feel like it's like. No, I, I just feel like I'm being extra negative. <laughs> well, it's okay. We're just but, not Morgan Wallen fans. No. It's wedding planning time, guys. You know that I am in the thick of it right now. The countdown is on and wedding planning is here. There's a lot going on. If you are like me and you're planning a wedding right now, you are you got a lot going on. You want one place that will handle all your needs with Zola. You can plan your entire wedding in one convenient place. From free planning tools like a customizable checklist and website to a venue and vendor discovery tool that matches you with your dream team, everything on Zola is designed to make your wedding journey as easy as possible. And with invites that are fun to create and a wedding registry packed with gifts you actually want, Zola takes you from save our date to thanks so much without breaking a sweat. There's even a five-star app that helps you plan on the go. Zola makes wedding planning easy and stress-free. They're the first and only stop you need to make on your wedding planning journey. They've thought of everything you'll need and have built every tool to get you to I do, including customized checklists to get you moving, keep you on track, and prepare you for what's next. They'll give you expert guidance plus unparalleled support. Their wedding pros are on call to walk couples from question to answer anytime. And their products and tools are built for you. They help couples plan the wedding they really want. With tons of unique features and personalized recommendations based on a couple's preferences, every Zola wedding is as unique as the couple planning it. So start planning at Zola.com. That's Z O L A.com. Moving on, Calvin Harris's wife said that she Love listens this. to Taylor Swift when he leaves the house. You know, just a couple songs. She gets her Taylor Swift fix in when Calvin Harris is away. Um, Cal- Calvin, what'd you say? <laughs> Calvin Harris? What did yeah. I say? It's no, not, no. It was, some, it was Harris. Some, Yeah. It was like Calison Harris or something. I don't know, guys. We've been talking all day. <laughs> no, I honestly like these words lights are, are. Let me tell you something. These lights are words bright. are coming out of my mouth, and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, the, like that's where yeah. that's the point I have reached. It all sounds like mumbo jumbo. <laughs> yeah. So Calvin's wife Vic Hope said on um, BBC on the BBC Radio One show that she admitted that she. It's like funny. It's like, you guys want to hear my dirty little secret? And they're like, what? Like, I listen to Taylor Swift when when he leaves. <laughs> but um, when he does go away, she listens to Taylor Swift's hits. She spoke about how much she's a fan of Taylor um, while she and her co-host Katie Thistleton read messages from fans writing in about what they like to do when their partners are gone. Um. Hope then opened up about what she plays herself when Calvin isn't present after briefly going back and forth about whether she should say it or not. The TV personality said, as soon as my husband goes away, I listen to Taylor Swift. She said, that's just when I get my little fill. Just, I like, she like had to downplay it too. She was like, just a, just a couple songs. Just yeah. a couple songs. It's like, just, a, just to get it on my system. Just every the, album. Not the ones about him. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Maybe some, those could, you know, who knows? Those hey, could respect. She knows, rings. she knows good music. She's going to yeah, listen to it. Exactly. You think he like, care? Like she should put on a Taylor Swift song when he was there. He, I mean, oh my God, I could pass out. I right could now. imagine. Sorry, I'm feeling whoa. Um, please take a sip of water. I'm feel like I'm, I'm getting like a little blurry. Same. I'm having some major like moments in every podcast. I feel like I'm like this is the end. <laughs> I mean, to be fair and to be honest um, with the listeners, we have been uh, doing a lot. We have been we have been doing a lot, and uh, you know. Little little wooziness could take over. Wendy Williams. I might have to do the snow. Literally, I could go down like the Statue of Liberty right now. Oh. I might have to do the show with my. Eye- I might have to do the show with my eyes closed. Just take a nice little nap. Um, okay, keep going. That's all right. We just it, it's if we're being totally honest, we are just um, tired. That's, that's that's all. We've been traveling a ton, um, and yeah. all really fun and exciting it's just, it's just, things. I'm also over the, I'm just hot. It's yeah, like, it's hot. We, we need water. Over. Um, <laughs> we need water stat what was I saying oh Calvin Harris I feel like maybe maybe it's not his genre of music he typically likes to listen to imagine like he walks in and hears like what the fuck were you just listening shut the, to shut this off shut this we're the fuck off we're supposed to hear that um, I think like I would imagine it's not his genre of music that he likes they made songs he could together, right? yeah, no he I, could I, yeah. I'm like thinking of excuses as, as I'm just thinking of any possibility right now of like I, I don't like, know if he listens to the music. I don't know. 
It's inev- it's inevitable. It, it comes on sometimes. Right yeah. on the radio. I like, also feel like DJs like it off. I feel like DJs listen to everything. Yeah, they just have to have like a knowledge oh. of all music. You that know? is a good point. Imagine if you did like a Taylor Swift remix, people would go crazy. Right? No, it's so yeah. past that point at this time. You it know is, what I mean? Like is. Calvin Harris yeah. is such an afterthought. Yeah, like, totally. It's so afterthought. I forget about that relationship a lot. Yeah. To be, to they be were like pretty public though. You know, they yeah. did. That was PDA filled relationship. Yeah, yeah, people forget yeah. that. Um, people think Lady Gaga is engaged. Yes. Big rock on Big her finger. Rock. Lady Gaga has. I don't know if you guys seen like her posting on TikTok. She posted the the one TikTok I saw was her doing the Addison Rae scream sound. Yeah. And um of course her her migraine medicine, she's uh the sponsored ads are coming up on TikTok. People are talking about that. Mm. And now she was seen with a, a big diamond ring on her finger and so people Large. think that she's engaged. Lady Gaga, by the way, has just had some of the best enga- engagement rings. Mm-hmm. Um people forget that Lady Gaga's been in, been engaged yeah. <laughs> uh i want to say at least once maybe twice yeah she's been dating her boyfriend michael polanski since 2019 she was seen walking around on sunday with a massive thing finger massive finger massive ring on her finger guys i'm so sorry massive ring on her left ring finger in uh walking around west hollywood it is huge it is a huge ring like even zoomed in it's like whoa and it's Big just rock it's just peeking out of her coat yep the bottom of her coat jacket um so that could be that could be a possibility definitely a possibility she i wouldn't put it past gaga no 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 why not she's got a good poker face so you can't tell <laughs> oh my gosh you should just take over the rest of the episode with <laughs> jokes like that. See how many you can come up with. Like we name okay, people just, and you can come up with. Just one. Engagement. And she was engaged one time before. Yeah. And it was like a greenish ring, right? Am I imagining Yeah, I loved that, that ring. It yeah. was really cool. That was, she was engaged to Taylor Kinney. Yeah. Which was like a wild couple. I actually really liked that pairing because mm-hmm. it just made like, I was like, this guy's just in Chicago filming Chicago Fire and like, he's like, yeah. Dating Lady Gaga. No big deal. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, well, wait, actually, I'm just kidding. There was two. Okay, sorry. Talent agent Christian Carino and Chicago Fire star Taylor Kinney. Listen, just like J-Lo, Lady Gaga's open to finding love and happiness. Which And marriage. Which ring am I thinking of? I remember like some green, like... Yes. Emerald. Yes. Was that... You know, I've met her father. Have you really? At the restaurant, at his restaurant. It near. was pink. He's like a real Italian guy, right? Yeah, it's, you should go. It's actually a nice restaurant. What so restaurant this was, was the one that when she got engaged to Christian Carino. It wasn't green? No, it was a pink diamond. Pink sapphire with a diamond halo. But maybe her one with Taylor Kinney was? Joanne. Oh, no, I'm going to fuck this name up now. No, that one was... A heart. The green. She's had very eclectic engagement rings. Yeah. The one to Taylor Kinney was a giant heart. Mm. And then the one with Christian was the pink sapphire with the all the massive diamond massive diamond halo. And now this one just looks like a giant oval. Diamond. I'm wondering who had the green one that I'm thinking of now. But I we don't we You know, it's interesting thing. because I maybe J Lo? I don't know. I feel like it was somebody in the recent years that got engaged. God, you're right. I'm and I'm thinking of the exact same ring. I don't know what was it a big after. emerald or was it just? I think it was green, but I don't remember the exact. Kind, and maybe it was green with another diamond yeah, next to it. Yeah, 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 uh, it's yeah. It's Jennifer Lopez. J Lo, right? J Lo had a green. Uh, after an 18 year hiatus, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are an item again. That blah blah blah. Um, we're stunned by her striking new five stone green diamond engagement ring design. Oh, that was last July. I feel like there's somebody else. That I don't think I don't. <laughs> you don't think that's, that's the one? It. That's not it. <laughs> oh, oh no no no. Okay, the, all right. It was in my mind. It was J Lo that I Can was thinking of. Halle Berry. No, that's not what I was thinking of. Oh. Okay, yeah, mystery. Megan, Megan What's Fox? the ring? Megan Fox with MGK. Yeah. Is it dark green with another diamond? It looks like green yeah it's like there's like a silver one and then a green one and i can't i I can't turn my laptop around okay that might be that might be exactly what i'm thinking of megan fox 
engagement ring. Let's say, okay, now these are just like not real people. Yep. That's it? Yep, that's the exact that's the one, one I was thinking of. Yeah. Is it the, is it her, it's it, not her MGK ring? No, it is the one. Oh, MGK. oh, it is. Oh, yes. Okay, yes. The yep, green yep, yep, next yep. to the, yeah. Yep. Okay, makes yep. sense. Glad we got there. Yep. Glad we glad we got to the end of yep. that. Did you find any subscriptions you forgot about or any you paid for twice and didn't realize it? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money can help me cancel with a few taps. I love how the dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month, so I can clearly see my spending habits. Plus, they'll help me create a custom budget and keep my spending on track. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate lower bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash chicks. That's rocketmoney.com slash chicks. Rocketmoney.com slash chicks. All right, last topic. This is an interesting topic. So Kimora and Russell Simmons, their da- daughter, Aoki Simmons, yes. she was seen with Vittoria, I don't know how to pronounce his, his last name, Asaf. Yeah, old man. Old man, he's 65. Seraphina. Seraphina, yes. the Seraphina restaurants. He's 65 and she's 21. So it's disgusting. Um, Hate it. It's it's gross. Pictures were just, t- ugh. The pictures of them on the beach. Like, what? Listen, he's clearly a pervy old man. Okay, yeah. so I could see where he is interested because he's a pervy old man. Where is her interest in old and a yeah. pervy old man? I that's the kind of stuff I never understand. Money, but her parents have money, right? That's what I don't. You know what I mean? Like power. I don't know. Does he have power? <laughs> does he? Pervy does she want? Does she want to? Like... Does she want a reservation at Serafina? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like that's she's why set. she's doing this. Unlimited Serafina so from just life. Saturday morning Serafina reservation. I don't know, man. Maybe she did. Like they. It was a very bizarre saga. I don't know what was going on, but it was really. If you saw, like. They were in St. Bart's. There was videos of them, pictures that came out. And then she was on Instagram Live. And it was, she kept referring to him as her boyfriend. They were, like, at the airport. She was doing this whole, like, baby voice just thing. At some, like, so that's sorry. where we're at right now. <laughs> baby voice things that were just, like, I don't know. He came back to the car, and she wanted a crepe. And she was, like, you want my crepe? Daddy, do you she have was a like, crepe? My crepe? It was wildly un- it was wildly uncomfortable. Probably. Um, but allegedly this is also already over. A source told page six that she's telling her friends like this is already done. I don't know, like sorry if this is totally wrong, but I don't know if she went on like some kind of bender and ended up in St. Bart's with this old man <laughs> because she didn't sound totally with it in this video yeah you know? i could see which, that being which the case. honestly was scary like yeah. scary because what's happening right like is she okay um but they're you know i i believe she's home now and this trip was um a little while ago and like her parents have been posting things so <laughs> it's just been it, it was just icky and i do think like she clearly has some like the ideas of her are like we don't really know too much about her, but she is a Harvard grad. So everyone's like, "Girl, what you what are you doing?" Yeah, Harvard have some standards. Like, well, you know, which I don't do really people, think matters to be quite honest. No, like, no. I mean, amazing, but she, but, she obviously, but common sense wise, like, yeah, people are like, "Oh my god, how could she went to Harvard? How could she possibly do this?" It's like. No, I mean she went to Harvard. There's she some could, dumb smart she could, people. She could be there extremely. Are. I'm sure she could be extremely smart and um, you know graduated from Harvard, but is now making like real life dumb decisions. There are some book smart people out there who are morons. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I I don't understand this at all. Yeah, I don't it's, know if it was some weird sugar daddy it, thing or something. I don't. Know. It's it did ext- not. It was uncomfortable. It's to very. See. And yeah. I hope she's okay because that did not like 
look all right. You know, it looked gross and I don't understand it, right? Like you have to think, okay, maybe she was in a different mindset or she like, oh my God, like this will be fun for the yeah. story. Where do I end up with this old man? Like he's obviously a gross pervert. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is with these. This is a bizarre comparison, but I was just like browsing TMZ and Pat Sajak's daughter, <laughs> you know, Will, uh, Will Fortune. Oh. Pat Sajak. His daughter, I think, is like early 20s, maybe 21, 22, like around that age. And it was like Pat Sajak seen with, I don't know, act, maybe some random act. Somebody I like don't don't know who it was. But when I saw the picture, like holding hands in some parking lot, I was like, oh, that guy looks old. And then I clicked on the article. It was like, he was like 48. I was like, God, what, why? Mm. Why, did, why, are we, why are we seeing all this? Yeah. I feel like we're having a, it's coming in hot right now yeah and i don't know like where the attractedness comes in you know I what know. i mean like how a young girl can, and then you you said money but i'm just like really like that yeah she'll inherit his empire i i don't know although he's not that old. he could live for another 20, like 25 yeah, years i don't like yeah, it yeah it's very gross it's it don't makes like you feel it like one bit you're just like oh pervy pervy and what's going on in your brain yeah that's how i look at it i agree um disgusting and I agree. yeah so who knows what's going on there but her friends are probably like you got to break up with this guy that's probably like she's why we're broken yeah, up yeah, like her yeah. friends are probably yeah. like we got to pull you out of this right seraphina you don't need reservations to seraphina no. there's better restaurants in the city no. correct um all right that wraps up the topics all right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We love you guys. And thanks to Abercrombie for a wonderful day at their headquarters in Columbus. We've had a great time. And uh, we're so excited that we got to record here. So thank you, Abercrombie. And thank you guys for listening. We will talk to you on Friday.